Hola, Wendy. Hola, licenciada Wendy. Hey, good evening, Wilfredo. How are you? Fine, teacher. I just arriving at home. Wow. Tough day. Excuse me? Was it a tough day, a difficult day? Mm, no. No, but I, I try to go to church every day. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. That's good. That's actually good. I try to go, but when I, I, I came, vengo cuando yo regreso. When I come back? When I come back at home, so tired. I mean, I, I, I try to go too, but it is, it is so hard. But Jesus had a, a, a bad experience, but for nosotros. For us? For us, yes, but it is nothing. True. Yes. And what about you, teacher? How was your day? Yeah, it's been good. I tried, as you can see, I tried to remove this thing from my face, <laughs> and it, it was awful. It was terrible. It was painful. But I just have to wait. I'm drinking amoxicillina with clavulin. I've never heard about that. Never heard of that? Amoxicillina with acido clavo. Ah, clavo amoxicillina, yes. Acido clavo lake, or something like that. Yeah. Um, and that's that's more effective. That is more effective. So I just have to wait. It's seven days. Yesterday, teacher, I told you with that, uh, but I. I I told that it is the, the sharon of that your microphone or your your yeah your microphone, yes. I hope no. I hope it looks like that. <laughs> okay, where is everybody? Hello, Kenya. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening, Wilfredo. Good evening. How how are you, Kenny? <laughs> Um, I think it's good just feeling sick, right? Like two hours ago, I got in a stomach pain really hard. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> ah, bad to hear that. Yeah. But did you drink something? Sorry? Did you drink something? No, no, I didn't. It was just like suddenly I, I felt to start really bad and feel like uh i how do you say then you're gonna do me that if i feel i felt like vomit something like that really puking how puking, puking. i felt like i felt like puking yeah puke puke, puke. Um, i felt like puking i felt like puking i see yeah you can see vomiting too but that's <laughs> the common thing yeah i see yeah so i'm and suffering <laughs> have, have, have you drink or have you drunk no no uh, you have you uh, taken any pills uh, no uh, i i can i can say her tell her tomado, I, I i yes but um salutaris Mm, no, I have heard that that's something good, like to to feel better when you have stomach pain. So, thank you for remembering me that I will go ahead and get one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Oh, okay. Uh, one question: Do you feel nauseous? Do you feel dizzy? I was feeling dizzy before. Mm. Do you have a <laughs> headache? Mm, no. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So, no, just just check in. <laughs> Teacher, uh, a co-worker told me today, today, yeah, today, that he felt so bad, but he went to visit to the doctor. Then 
you start to do you have this one this one this one and he told me todo quería que yo le dijera <laughs> I, I, I know. So funny because... Of course, I mean that that's a routine. They have to make all this proving <laughs> proving questions. That's yeah. like like when you repair a computer. It's the same thing, you know. It's funny. You have to <laughs> you have to diagnose what's the problem. It's funny with kids. With kids, I have I have been through that experience three times already with my kids. You know each one of them when they are little and they the doctor starts touching his legs his stomach right does it hurt does it hurt <laughs> and here does it hurt <laughs> everything hurts <laughs> yes <laughs> and then i remember one of my sons the doctor was like hmm and then he touches her right does it hurt? <laughs> like, it was like, oh, yes. okay, yeah, come on. Your hurt can feel pain, come on. It was so funny. Man, going through all these experiences with kids, is, is, is it's difficult in the moment. You don't want to be on, on that situation. But later you remember, it's like, man, time flies. Okay. How many are we? We are 11. Good. Let's start doing the attendance, okay? While we wait for the others. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. She's like, no. <laughs> okay. I saw you, Adriana. Thank you. Edwin Alexandra Ayala Erazo. Present. Excellent. Sí. Y mi teacher. Oh my God, good. Yeah, Ana Selmi Chévez. Ah. Present teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Gabriela Alejandra <laughs> González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vela. I'm sorry, Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Okay, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Hello. Pame. Okay. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Ros is not here yet. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Mm -hmm. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Gaby, did I mention you? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Gabriela, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Just a minute. Okay, 73%, 77%, difference of 6%, okay, good. Um, so some of you were having questions about the platform, how do we do that, this, that. Um, so don't worry, we will go through the platform in just a minute. Actually, I'm thinking about doing it right now while we wait for your other classmates, but Nelson is not here and Nelson had some questions about homework 1.9. <clears throat> Whether or not they, well, uh, who else was having questions? Wendy had some questions on exercise 2.5. And I think that's it. Anybody else? No? Okay, and remember that tonight we have to do the um, the survey, right? They will I have I have a two in the exercise one one 
4.7 in the exercise four. An exercise four. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, yo puse, the boss kept insisting that we had communication issues with the new employee. Okay, let me do something then. I'm gonna start uh, reviewing the, the the platform. Then I will split you for a few minutes so you can finish preparing your presentation for tonight. Remember that this is your last activity of this module. Let me just a second. Okay, Adita, what is the um, the exercise number? Number four, teacher. Number four, okay. Mm -hmm. There's Nelson. Hey, welcome, Nelson. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Exercise four, you need four. No, no teacher, no, you need one. Okay. Exercise 1.7. 1.7, okay. Mm -hmm. It's loading. 1.7, okay. Here. He considered, which, which number or just all of them? Four. Number four. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four says, insisting we had communication issues, the buzz with the employees kept that. Okay, we had communication issues. Am I in the right one? Oh no, I'm not in the right one, sorry. Okay, so the boss kept insisting that we had communication issues with the employees. So this exercise ordered the words to make sentences. It was just about ordering the, the words to build sentences. So just finding sense to this, let's see. So the subject is the boss. Now this, is this on simple present or simple past? In other words, what is the verb? Kept. Kept, kept right? Okay, so kept. That's in simple past already. Keep, kept. Okay, the boss kept. What is the next verb that follows this verb? as we started on before. Insist. Insisting. Insisting, right? The boss kept insisting about what? Now, a connector. I need to, to connect two sentences here. So should I say the boss kept insisting with the new employees that we had communication issues. So the next thing will be the connector that, okay, we had communication issues. Okay, what am I missing with the new employees? Yes. Now, there is a period on this exercise. Let, let me show you something. Let's say, I'm just gonna copy this. So if I submit, it's wrong, okay. But I'm sure my answer is right. So if I put a period maybe, yeah. It's just the period at the end. So again, the boss kept insisting that we had 
we had communication issues with the new employees. Yeah. Period. Anybody else? Okay. He considers communication in the workplace, making diversity and his presentation about. Who, who did this exercise? Do you have any other questions about this exercise? No, yes, maybe. No, teacher, at the beginning was difficult, but I, I read, I read and I understand and I do it. <laughs> you, you read, you read and you understood. Yeah. And, and you made it, awesome. Yeah, I made it. Okay, uh, so good. Nelson, you had questions with, let me check the chat. Uh, well, Wendy, Wendy was first. Let's see, Wendy said 2.5. Section 2.5. Okay. Read the sentences below. Decide if some of the pattern of the phrases are opposites, then sorry. Then add commas if necessary. If not, just rewrite the sentence again. So this is what we were um, studying on a previous class. When something is necessary or not among a sentence, you can split it with commas. If you need to emphasize, or add more information, that's what you do. So let's see, what number were you having issues with? Let's see, is it all, yeah, two and three. Criminals acts committing or tolerating unethical activities can cripple a company's reputation. So if I say criminal acts can cripple a company's reputation my subject in this sentence will be criminal acts. Let me guess, criminal acts, committing or tolerating unethical activities can cripple. What is cripple? Did somebody find out? Did you find out what is cripple? Oh, it doesn't allow me to submit until I finish the exercise. What's cripple? Cripple is when some, something uh, make a damage on your, oh my God, <laughs> I don't remember. But, when something yeah. damages? Uh, yeah, when, yeah, something. when someone, some, huh, when someone, oh, for example, when someone can walk, if I can say it in that way. When someone has a disability or is not able yeah. to walk? Okay, I'm just gonna put the answers here so you can see, not putting up with bad behavior, comma, like harassment or discrimination. En este ejemplo, Wendy, estamos dando un ejemplo, vale la redundancia, redundante. Estamos dando un ejemplo de que es un mal comportamiento. Not putting up with bad behavior, que es mal comportamiento, like harassment or discrimination. Those are examples. Can make work more enjoyable for employees. So not putting up with bad behavior can make work more enjoyable for employees. Y les explicaba en su momento, no hay que leer todo y ver si tiene sentido. Si le quito esa frase que suena a como que estoy empezando una nueva oración. Next one, many of the best management practices currently on trend are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. Here, I don't need any commas, okay? I just don't need any commas. I'm just giving my opinion about what I just said. Many of the best management practices currently on trend are 
easier to achieve. Yo hubiera agregado la coma acá. Honestly. Currently on trend will be like unnecessary. Many of the best practices are easier. Okay. Uh, but, oh, no, no, no. I'm specifying. So, sorry, teacher, but I, I, at this moment, I, oh my God, how do you say? Me doy cuenta. <laughs> I just realized. Okay. In this moment, I just realized that I do the exercise in a good way, but I didn't put the point at the end. Oh, okay. And that's the way, that's the reason because it's bad, but I... That's the reason it is why. I'm sorry, that, that's the reason why, why it is incorrect. That's the reason why... It is incorrect. It is incorrect. That's the reason why it is incorrect. Okay, uh, good, good. Try to, remember you can redo, redo the exercises if you want. Yeah, I'm going to check it again. Mm -hmm, to improve your score. So, I was telling you, en este ejemplo, en el cuatro, no necesito coma porque estoy siendo específico. Muchas de las mejores prácticas de gerencia actualmente en tendencia son, o sea, si no digo que actual, si no digo que de las que están en tendencia ahorita no estoy especificando. Okay? Si lo digo es porque quiero ser específico, que estoy hablando nada más de las que están en tendencia. Prácticas gerenciales hay muchas. Es un campo muy extenso. Tengo que ser explícito. Entonces sí necesito que decir. Necesito decir uh, currently on trend. Actualmente en tendencia. Ok. And last one. The economy benefits in the words of the experts. Eso creo que lo respondieron. <laughs> Estaba solucionada la pregunta. El caso. Ok. The economy benefits in the words of the experts when companies refrain from using dirty tricks to crush competitors. You need the commas. Okay, help me everybody. Last part, select the correct word being described. Moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. Is the description of the word? Is it good practice, ethics, bribe, wrongdoing, or shareholder? It's ethics. Ethics, yes. Ethics. 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 That's right. An owner of shares in a company. Carla, an owner of shares in a company. Come on, come on. Oh, I can see what. Yeah, shareholder. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I'll move on. Wise thing to do. A wise thing to do. Mm -hmm. Good practice. Okay, illegal or dishonest behavior. Bribe. Persuade. Persuade. Persuade someone to act in one's favor. Typically, illegally or dishonestly, by a gift or of money or other in inducement. That's brave. That's brave, actually. And this is wrongdoing. Okay, let's see. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So if you're having problems with this on the platform, um, try to review it and do it. Take a screenshot if you need right now of the right answers. Or hope you took notes. Questions? Teacher, me puede mostrar la respuesta de la. Yeah. I don't know. Just tell me because if you are you have a bad score on 2.5, here you have the answers. Definitely I can I can figure it out. <laughs> no. No. I couldn't, I couldn't figure I it out. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. The Love point, it. Uh -huh. the, the 1.9. 1.9, I, you couldn't figure yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, the parenthetical, on. the parenthetical information. I can't. <laughs> 1.9. Yeah, in the section one, 
that's what Nelson was doing as well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Read the following sentences. Identify whether or not they feature parenthetical information instead of the parenthetical information from the rest of the sentence, applying proper punctuation. The best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just leadership by example. I don't like that. It's not just leading by example, but through the use, the use of detailed strategies, there is no parenthetical information on that sentence. It's just one sentence. Okay. Hmm. In fact, Yeah, there's none. Inclusion initiatives. Let's see. So there's no parenthetical information on this one. I could just copy and paste. Leave it like that. Second one, inclusion initiatives in most workplaces are usually poorly funded and disconnected from broader, 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 general trading programs. Okay, you have to make a pause. Inclusion initiatives are usually poorly funded. So here, this is my personal opinion. Inclusion initiatives are usually poorly funded and disconnected from broader general training programs. Um, so I just need to put a comma, inclusion initiatives, in my opinion, in most workplaces, comma. Next one, differences in interpretation of events. Oh, this is easy. This one's easy. Question, am I adding? I got it the number two, but I didn't put the point <laughs> at the end. At the end. <laughs> Differences yeah. in interpretation of events, comma, a common issue among employees who can who speak a different language. Who speak a different language. Estoy diciendo que solamente los empleados que hablan un lenguaje diferente, okay, can lead to miscommunication. Entonces, que quede claro esta, esta parte de lo que hemos estudiado. Si yo agrego más información al enunciado a la oración, lo único que tengo que hacer es poner una coma, como para que, que resalte, hacer énfasis en esa parte del enunciado. Differences in interpretation of events. Las diferencias en la interpretación de las situaciones, de instituciones o de algunos casos, puede llevar a mala comunicación, a comunicación, a mala comunicación. De nuevo, la diferencia en interpretación de los hechos puede llevar a mala comunicación. ¿Tiene sentido la oración sin eso, verdad? Ahora, puedo ser más específico y he notado que esto es un problema común entre empleados que hablan un lenguaje diferente. Entonces lo quiero poner, quiero poner eso. Ah, entonces pongo una coma después de events y una al final de language para especificar que eso solo ocurre con ese grupo. Las personas que hablan un lenguaje diferente. Ok. Next, diversity when it works increases profits for a company. A ver, Nelson. Number four, short. Um, diversity um, comma 
Mm-hmm. When... Mm-hmm. when is word when is word comma in mm-hmm. place profit profit for a company for profit. a company totalmente company. totally solo quiero hacer énfasis en que cuando funciona okay cuando funciona eh, incrementa las uh, ganancias de una compañía. Gracias. Ok, and last one. Ahorita vamos a hacer el, la, la encuesta. But, yep. Sorry, but the uh, number one, the, this exercise, and um, I try it many ways, but I couldn't solve in the, in the period. Ok, ahorita. A, cultural, a culturally diverse workforce opposite to its counterpart, comma, better understands diverse markets. Let's see, Nelson. So, oh. Huh. The number one feature. The best way to achieve, oh, ahí no vamos, según la plataforma, no necesitamos agregar ninguna comma displacement. Pero ¿Qué pasó? The best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just leadership by example, but through the use. Oh, the best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just it's not just leadership by example, but through the use of retail strategies. Oh, there's no period on this one. Oh. There's no period. Yes, but there's no period. Mis disculpas en nombre de inglés corporativo, pero sí, no lleva punto ese es hora. It's not your fault. Ya pueden respirar, no es su culpa. Yes, soy yo. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I, I raised the point and that's okay. <laughs> I, I deserve, I deserve a 10. <laughs> okay. okay, bien chicos, vamos a pasar al español. Creo que un 95% hemos logrado en esta clase hablar español, inglés y ha sido una gran um, cosa realmente poder haber logrado esa meta con ustedes. So, Let's see. Uh, ¿Dónde está esta cosa? ¿Dónde quedó la bolita? ¿Dónde quedó la bolita? Bien, eh, como siempre, pues ustedes ya están acostumbrados a este proceso. Lo vamos a comenzar de nuevo con uh, ver un video corto sobre um, cómo lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Entonces les pido su atención, por favor, para poder realizar esta encuesta de satisfacción. Ok. So, Eh, vamos a dar inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción, la cual es el tercer requisito de INSAFOR que INSAFOR establece para definir si cada participante ha aprobado o no el presente módulo. Solicito su atención en el seguimiento de las indicaciones para que su encuesta se envíe sin errores. No podemos todos, cada quien hacerlo por su lado. Lo vamos a hacer juntos como siempre. En primer lugar, vamos a ver un video educativo, explicativo para que tengan una idea general de dónde obtendrán información solicitada y la forma correcta de trasladarla. So, um, me avisan después de ver el video si alguien no ha recibido el correo de invitación. De momento les he silenciado a todos. Vamos a ver el video rapín. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. 
la vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número 1. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú. Bien, eh, eso es prácticamente lo del video. Vamos a proceder a, a comenzar. Teacher, sí. eh, ¿quién, ¿quién envió el correo? Porque dice que yo no lo tengo aquí en mi bandeja de entrada. 
Hay que sí, buscarlo. Yo, 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 no lo tengo. Solo en WhatsApp lo mandaron. Solo en el WhatsApp. Yo lo acabo de ver. en WhatsApp lo mandaron. A mí tampoco no me lo enviaron. Ya lo estuve buscando y no, no me aparece. Solamente copié el link a mi correo y luego, ni modo, pego. O copio los datos. Pero puedo mandar. No, en el WhatsApp, WhatsApp no WhatsApp se puede copiar. Del WhatsApp no se puede copiar. Sí, del WhatsApp no se puede, solamente del Solo correo. Solo porque es Pero como... Pero el link, el link, yo me acabo de mandar el link a mi correo. Solo el link. El link. No, no, el link, Ajá. el link es, es solo de darle tap, uh, tocar con el dedo, ¿no? Ah, no Pero... No, 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 WhatsApp. Ajá. Los datos, no, yo digo los datos. Bien, eh, es muy probable que alguien de, de administración lo haya enviado. Lo que pueden hacer es poner en su correo inglés corporativo. Yo ya lo busqué así, teacher, como inglés corporativo, como... Y no le aparece. Nombre, ya no, les compartí la información en el WhatsApp, ahí la pueden ver, ahí se las copié. Ahí no, en pero el WhatsApp. cada quien es diferente. No, esa información que puso Susana es información general. Es por el nombre de las empresas. Correcto, la orden, el nombre, vaya, si alguien tiene duda en cuanto a la razón social, lo podemos, me preguntan y, y yo les digo, eso no hay problema. Pero para la razón social podemos ver el correo de la encuesta del mes pasado, de hecho yo lo tengo aquí abierto, ahí está la También, social, correcto. La sí, en este uh -huh. caso lo más crítico que ha cambiado es la orden de inicio. Es la orden de inicio. Uh -huh, correcto, fechas, el nombre del y curso todo, le doy y las de fechas. Del módulo uno. Uh -huh. Exacto. Si alguien tiene alguna duda, me va preguntando, pero por eso es que vamos a ir paso a paso. Ok. Lo no que ha mandado Susi, que es lo principal. ¿verdad? Sí, lo que ha mandado Susi es como lo, lo, lo común entre todos, lo que todos debemos de tener en común. So, okay. déjenme ver. ¿Dónde queda la bolita? ¿Dónde queda es la que bolita? como cuando usted digita, a veces si se le va un espacio o algo y ya. Nah. No, en este punto no, porque es un, un formulario de Google. So, eh, bueno, vamos a abrir el enlace de la encuesta a todos. Eh, de nuevo, le silenciaré. Bueno, lo voy a dejar así. Si alguien tiene alguna duda, me levanta la mano, porfa. Y yo le doy el espacio. So, abrimos el, el enlace. Y vamos a comenzar a llenar nuestra encuesta. As usual. Se voy a ir proyectando esto de una sola vez. Yo voy a llenar esta encuesta como que si yo le estoy llenando. Claro, yo no puedo enviar este, este formulario. ¿eh? So, vamos a llenar el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. ¿okay? Que es lo que Susi ha enviado. Eh, de hecho, pues voy, voy a hacer algo. Como dice Sandra. Ahí voy a ir enviando cada parte de información para que ustedes puedan sostener su dedo sobre ese número y copiar el dato exacto, si lo desean hacer así, copiarlo y pegarlo acá. Su nombre completo. Ahora, con el correo electrónico asegúrense de usar el mismo con el que entran a la plataforma de Zoom. Eso sí tiene que, que um, ¿cómo se dice? Es match, tiene que... Teacher. Sí. En el caso que cuando tuvimos aquella migración de, de Zoom que se actualizó, yo no pude entrar con el correo que tengo en la plataforma. Sino Wendy de que Molina, no, Wendy punto Molina, arroba Fotlink. Punto com. Ajá, pero yo no entro con ese correo aquí a, a la clase de Zoom, pero sí entro en ese a la plataforma. Mm -hmm. Ok, si sí, ese dijo, es el que está en la plataforma, eh, Flor, no sé si nos ahí aclara ahí no ese punto. Que actualizar, pero no sé. Si lo uso. Florcita. Uh -huh. Hola, dígame Linares. Sí, eh, ¿qué correo <ríe> debe ocupar Wendy? ¿El que está en el listado de asistencia o el con el que se mete la plataforma o el nuevo con el que se mete a Zoom? Eh, no, Rafael, ella debe de ocupar el que está en el estado de asistencia. Ah, pues sí, Wendy, sería wendy.molina.fotlink.com Gracias. 
No, aquí lo que mandó Susi igual se copia toda la. Toda, ah, okay. toda la. Sí, correcto. Vaya, hagamos una cosa entonces. Yo les ayudo. Uh -huh. Bueno, eso de inglés corporativo es, es una, una pestaña que hay que darle clic, ¿verdad? Y poder bajar y seleccionar una opción. En inglés avanzado módulo 2. Así van a poder copiar dato por dato. ¿Está bien así, Ana Selma? Yes, teacher. Ok. So, nombre completo, correo electrónico, yes, número sí. de celular. Bueno, entonces digitamos, vea. Por favor, si pueden. Bueno. Si no pueden copiarlo de WhatsApp. Y lo que falte. El número sería sin guiones, ¿verdad? Eh, el número de teléfono sin guiones, sí. Teacher, solo para confirmar, ¿verdad que de mí es Lempa Services SADCB? Ah, bien, Wendy, gracias. Vamos a ver. Lempa espacio services espacio ltda de dcb ahorita se lo envío buen día a usted ok gracias teacher de qué con espacio dijo el número de teléfono sin espacios correcto sin espacios Teacher, y le sale la información de nosotros. Yo lo Por tengo ejemplo, en el empresas. listado. Ajá. Ah, sí, porque no tengo el línea. Ya lo ando no buscando problema. y no lo encuentro. ¿El correo electrónico? Uh -huh. Ok, ahorita, Wendy. Digo, Kenia. Sorry. Uh, Kenia. Chat. Ese es su correo, Kenia. Y la razón social. Gracias. ¿Alguien más necesita su correo electrónico o la razón social de su empresa? No. ¿En qué fecha se inició el curso? Ahí está en el chat. 17 de octubre. Bien, yo voy a llenar eso solo por llenarlo, digamos la libertad. La empresa donde trabaja, ya está. 17 de octubre. Aquí es inglés corporativo, Regal uh -huh. International. Nombre del curso, estaba por acá. Ah, ok, Walter. ¿Quién es Hernández? Oh, Susana Hernández, ok. He avanzado módulo 2. 23 de noviembre. Cuando inició el curso es el 17 de octubre. Me muevo aquí con las flechitas. 17 de octubre y terminamos hoy, que es 23 de noviembre. noviembre. En mi caso, la computadora está en inglés, entonces, octubre 17, noviembre 23. Ya la terminé. ¿Me puedes revisar? Ah, eh, bueno. Una cosa, chicos, recuerden que siempre nos detenemos acá en el punto 14. Recuerden que si ustedes están insatisfechos con el curso, nos están dando a entender que ya no van a seguir con el curso, ¿verdad? En el siguiente módulo, para poder asignar el, el espacio a alguien más. Solamente esa mención debo de hacer en cada momento que hacemos la encuesta. Otros cursos de interés pueden ser Excel. Eh, me parece que tenemos marketing digital también. El jefe es buenísimo en eso del marketing digital. Eh, y cualquier comentario que ustedes tengan, no tengan miedo de poner lo que sea ahí, 
¿verdad? ideas, si ustedes desean mejorar algo, aquí es donde es el momento en el que ustedes pueden dar ideas a Insaforp para que, y para la academia también, ¿no? Sugerencias, porque en dado momento ellos nos dicen, mire, saque su, su datos de las encuestas de todo el año, y nos dice qué comentarios les han hecho los, los um, estudiantes, eso es muy importante. Um, ¿Alguna duda, alguien? 17 de octubre, comenzamos. Sí, gracias, Sandra. Eh, 17 de octubre 2022 y terminamos hoy, 23 de noviembre de 2022. Bien, en lo que terminan voy a empezar a pasar lista en el chat, que es una costumbre que tengo. Vamos a ver, Walter. Ya está. ¿Cómo te va, mi amor? Sí, pero no cante, ticha. ¿Cómo te va? Susana Hernández. Susana Hernández. ¿Qué? Adriana. Y Gaby González. Gabriela González. ¿Qué? Ana Selmi y Edwin. Luego tengo a Wendy, ok. Ok. Recuerden, pueden hacer cualquier pregunta si necesitan alguna información. Ok, tengo a Wilfredo, Carla y Glorita. Wilfredo, Carla y Glorita. Wilfredo... Ok, veamos, tengo ya Gloria, eh, Kenia, Nelson y Rosalena, ah no, Sandra, Kenia, Kenia, Nelson y Sandra. Solo me falta Patricia y Rosalena, 
Ay, Pamela. Sandra Nelson. Ok. Ah, Patricia y Rosalina, ok. Estamos. Pamela, ¿has podido hacer la encuesta? Hello, hello. Pamela. Bien, en lo que le hacemos un tiempito a Pamela, eh, voy a pasar el listado de nuevo, que son las nueve. Y luego comenzamos a prepararnos para las expos. A la Patricia Linares Galdamés. Presente. Sí, me encienden la cámara, porfa, todos. Please. Adriana Estefan y Martínez Flores. Presente. Ana Sermi Chévez. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamers. Here. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susi. Ok. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Well, um, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. I got you, Susana. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, Wendy, I got you too. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay. Present, teacher. Thank you. So let me just remove this. Reset and reset. Teacher, okay. Hey. I'm so sorry, but I I I tried to do the um, the homework number number one mm -hmm. point seven, but I don't know what happened. But I I didn't get the the answer. May I send you? The well, the number one point seven. Uh huh. Fue lo que hicimos al principio de la clase. Yo ya estabas, de hecho, conectado. No, no, sí, pero fíjese que el, el... one point seven. Sí, lo lo completamos ahorita antes de iniciar con todo esto. Eh, no. Okay. Hay que agregar un punto al final. Esa es la única diferencia de ahí. Todas. Eh, bueno, hay que armar las, las oraciones, ¿no? Sí. Uh -huh. Y agregar un punto al final. Pero si gustas, eh, Wilfredo, puedes ver el video al principio para sacar las respuestas, porque así les mostré uh -huh. la pantalla con todas las sí, respuestas. No, sí, 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 aquí le tomé una foto. Uh -huh. pero oh, no, ok. No sé por qué no me pero, pero solo... Let me know. Quedó, sí. ¿Qué okay. número? ¿Qué número es? Number five. Number five. Okay, she didn't mind participating alone teams from abroad. Yes. Fredo, uh-huh, uh -huh. there you go. Copy and paste that. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
algún espacio ahí o algo, pero sí veo que lo tenés bien. Ok, guys, so, uh, vamos a, eh, Ros, eh, Pamela, no sé si no pudiste enviar la, la encuesta, pero ok. Eh, si puedes, lo haces, porfa. And everybody else, I'm going to split you just for 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, so you can prepare for today's presentation. Y les voy a dividir exactamente como estaban ayer. A ver. We were four groups last night. Four groups. So, mm -hmm. assign them manually. So, group number one. We had Ada Patricia, Adriana, and Walter. Adriana, Walter, and Wilfredo. That's group number one. Group number two. Group number two was Ana Selmi Chévez, Edwin, Gabriela, and Sandra. Sandra, okay. Group number three. Carla, Pamela, and Wendy. Pamela and Wendy. And number four, Gloria, Kenya, Nelson, and Rosa. Gloria, Kenya, Nelson, and Rosa. Susana is up in the air, so she's going to be on group number three. Oh, okay. Susie. There you go. Estaba en algún grupo, Susana, ayer. Yes, teacher. I am working with an Aselmi. With an Aselmi? With Adriana. Oh, okay. And Wendy. And the Wendy. Yes. La Wendy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Así dicen en el nombre de, de Carlos, de Wendy. Okay. Good. So let's do it. Let's uh, prepare. Remember that you have, you, you know what you have to do. Ahora les ponía ahí en el chat de que al final de cada presentación le voy a preguntar a los demás eh, grupos, ¿sí? ¿Cómo podrían ustedes mejorar ese programa de responsabilidad social que van a exponer sus compañeros? ¿Sí? Y ahí están las, los pasos que vamos a seguir. So, let's do it. Let's get ready. We have 15 minutes, okay, the most to prepare. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Start, start. Okay. Give me a moment, please. Oh. Can you see? No. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. What was choose, Barbara? Yes. Is that Ada? Yes. And, uh, okay, this is Good evening, everybody, everyone, to our group to talk a little about the social responsibility program for a shoes factory. Our shoe factory is called What was choose. Its vision is to manufacture the best fine footwear for women throw. No, no, no. no. Ajá. Aquí usted, me... usted solo va, solo va a hacer la introducción, ¿verdad? No. Ok. O no sé, no sé. Si eh, Adriana. Por woman, eh. no. Oh, ajá, me, eh, me había equivocado. 
uh -huh. and only manufacture the best fine footwear. Eh, hay que quitar por one porque no, no es solo para mujeres. Ok. Uh -huh. sí, hay, que, hay, que incluir, hay que ser inclusivos. <risa> <risa> ok, yes. yo no le he visto. ¿A dónde la colocó? Disculpe. Entonces quedaría: Its vision no. is to manufacture the best no. fine footwear through innovation in design. No. The quality of our product, the no, use no, of resources, no. and the best qualified no, 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 workforce. No, 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 no. About the satisfaction of or customers and the market in general valuing the company through the integral development of all people in harmony with the society and the environment to warranty continue and the profitable growth. And the next, Walter. Okay. Uh, 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 continue the presentation. No is the, the vision. Uh, a new company and six benefits for those small in Eden. Uh, delivery of forward of food super. Excuse me. and to young people and children in rural areas. The company in, at the benefits, the different, the different people, uh, at children in rural and in rural areas is the most benefits, it's the most benefits. Uh, the company, how do you say that? Excuse me. Yeah. What? Oh, no, no, okay. uh, not only is, uh, not only is a, a, a money, uh, the company, the <coughs> company, en realidad me había equivocado. Ah, disculpa, yo pensé de que la primera parte la iba a leer yo. Pero no es así, ¿verdad? Sí, es que no, no tenía. No, Walter. Esta, o sea, me va a tocar. Su... Eso yo, yo, no, yo no lo pude incluir, Sandrita. Y revisé los paso uh -huh. review the steps the concept mm -hmm. aquí decimos de que está involucrado todo el personal ah okay de la que era lo que habíamos dicho verdad Edwin sí todo el y, personal y la logística de, de, de la empresa cómo esa, trabaja esa es la que no no incorporé no sí eso estoy viendo <risa> <risa> es que tú ibas a hacer la de los procesitos, ¿no? Sí. ¿Qué sería después de esta para incorporar los, los, los procesos involucrados? Aquí lo que puse fue una generalidad de que todos los procesos están involucrados desde el diseño hasta la entrega. En forma general, en forma general. <coughs> Ajá de los uh -huh. diseños. Si gusta hasta la puedes explicar tú, Edwin, y explicas los procesos esto, que están involucrados. Esto es, iba, esto es lo que iba a decir. Y ajá, y ahí yo tengo lo otro que, que lo que iba a agregar. ¿Y lo ponemos en presentación o solo lo vas a explicar? No, no es necesario. Si sí, acuérdense que lo que eh, el teacher quiere es que hablemos, ¿verdad? Ok, como tú digas. Mm. Esta es la otra parte de los de los beneficiarios, pero creo que aquí sí me equivoqué en la. Y 
¿Y esto qué significa? Ma macetomi pra. Beneficia. <risa> aquí, aquí la palabra correcta es beneficia. Yes. Benefits. Pero aquí son beneficios, pero aquí lo que quiero poner son los beneficiarios. Yes, B. Ay. No me dijo. El sector que va a ser beneficiado. Exacto. Sí, porque él dijo que lo delimitaran. Beneficiarios. Beneficiarios. For the program. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué significa el que decías, perdón, Edwin? P perdón, ¿qué, ¿qué me dijo? ¿Qué, qué dijiste? mencionaste es que significa ah eh, ajá que decía 12 mil units of o sea 12 mil bra uh -huh. 12 mil sostenes las unidades de ah ok eso es lo que o se puede hacer no esto okay. es lo que incluye la donación la, o sea, la donación es de 12 mil ah que serán entregadas a cuatro mil mujeres para cada uno de los periodos de, de entrega, que serían los periodos de entrega mayo, octubre y diciembre, o sea, cuatro mil en mayo, cuatro mil en octubre y cuatro mil. Aquí me equivoqué. Oh. Ah, o sea, eso solo es parte de la donación, pero en sí la compañía produce más. Ah, exacto. Esta es lo que incluye el programa de donación. El que incluye, ok, ya entendí. Son doce mil bra. O sea, el programa es donaciones. Sí. Si quieren, yo explico esta parte de beneficiarios. Suena muy bien. Okay. Y como seguí los, así los pasitos que nos compartió el teacher, aquí quienes lo aprobaron, el programa, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Quiénes los ha programado? Ah, fue aprobado por la Junta de Directores. Si gusta, Susi, puede usted presentar esta parte de quiénes son los aprobadores. Apro okay. Can you show me, please? No, no, no estoy presentando. No. Ya no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I see. And now? <laughs> Approvals? Approvals. Yes. Yes. Y esa parte yes. de beneficiarios y conceptos, si lo, 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 lo. Esa es la suya, Edwin, conceptos. Sí. Conceptos. Ok. Los beneficiarios míos, las aprobaciones de Susi. Me? Ok. Y la suya, si gusta, lo de las metas. Y, y la fecha en que se va a lanzar el programa. ¿Es ok for you, Sandrita? Ok. Eh, ¿Fechas? ¿De? Pero la, el, las metas. Proyectos. Ok, las metas. Ajá, las metas del programa. Que sería a través de esta fundación Edificando Vidas que yo, el, el, o sea, esta donación va a apoyar a otro programa que tiene fundación Edificando Vidas. Ellos tienen programas para entregas de pelucas, entregas de otros productos, incluyendo el de, el de sostenes. Entonces sería... Eh... Project Goals. Goals. Project Goals. 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 Project Goals. Y el de la y la fecha de lanzamiento. Esta.
Ay, mi internet. Hello, teacher. We try, we try to finish. Ya sé que me faltó. ¿Mm? Description, the program description. Los objetivos. Aquí va. Te voy a voy no. <laughs> Kenya, what what which words do you think are difficult to pronounce? Let me check now which ones do I have? It's the number four. Yes. Uh let's say. Okay, so it says, let me see, people who want. You said uh, centimeters. Uh -huh. right? Cent centimeters. Centimeters. Centimeters up here. Okay. Eh, eh, me lo podría enviar, Nelson, por favorcito. The other word will be ponytail, right? Uh huh, ponytail. Uh -huh. Ponytail. Attached to a braid or ponytail, right? Braid. Oh, I find centimeters. Centimeters. Oh my God. <laughs> centimeters. 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 Video, Gloria. <laughs> so this is the centimeters. 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 Ponytail. Uh huh. Okay, Nelson, can you share again? No. No, give me a moment. Oh, okay. Weeks, 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 weeks. Sounds like weeks, weeks. Weeks for hope. Foundation, 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 weeks for the 
weeks for half foundation 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 she No, it's foundation. It's foundation. <laughs> foundation. 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 Foundation, 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 foundation. It's like a sound, sounds like a date. Foundation, 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 found, foundation, foundation, shun, shun, shun. How do you pronounce like uh? Fisiologicamente, fis, si es fisiologicamente, oh, ya me confundí, pero es como, ah, by, ajá, la última. Um, Fisiologicamente, fis, oh my god, <laughs> fis, <laughs> teacher, yeah, psychologically, no, psychologically, 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 let me, let me find it. Oh my God. Psychologically. Oh my God. Psychologically. 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 Oh my god. Psychologically. <laughs> Psychologically. Psychologically. Mm -hmm. Psychologically. Excellent. Psychologically. <laughs> okay. Good. Let's go. No. Okay, let's do this. Chan, 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 chan. Yeah, we're all back. So let me just do a little toes, a coin toes, let's say, to see, to see who's gonna come to the front first. Okay, so group number, Two goes first. <laughs> who is group, who is group <laughs> number two? <laughs> okay, el grupo, ese está en su WhatsApp, eh? Grupo número dos goes first. Okay, group number 
Number two. Ah, oh number my two. God. Group number one goes second. Mande segundo los primeros. Okay. Group number three goes third and group number four goes fourth. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's start. So two, one, three, four. All yours. Okay. Uh, good night. <laughs> we are the group number two, and uh, your company. Um, it's dedicated to manufacture uh, underwear for women. So uh, your idea of corporate social program is to create a line to underwear uh, bras, uh, specifically uh, for women with breast cancer who have had an, an operation, um, a mastectomy, and have lost uh, one of their uh, breasts. So uh, breast cancer is one of the most uh, prevalent cancer in women, uh, and it is affecting over 1.5 million women each, each year. And usually women that have this uh, type of cancer uh, tend to uh, present uh, to a national hospital or foundations that usually don't have a higher, um, higher, higher in incomes. So they usually don't have a, a personalist uh, tra treatment. So uh, your program does uh, doesn't prevent cancer, but it will help women who have had a mastectomy to feel more confident and secure with their bodies, and also increase their self esteem. And good evening. Actually, I will talk a little bit uh, more about the logistic, the logistic of the company. Concept uh, of the CSR program is to involve all the person and the participate in the production process for the manufacturing of brass of my next Tommy, from the designer to the employee who will do the deliveries. Actually, we practice the four type of logistic. Uh, there are uh, uh, production logistic, sales logistic, and recovery logistic. And one are, is the most important for us is recycling logistic. Most of the company don't practice this last last one. There is recycling, and eh, because we really care about the environment of our country, so we care about to input everything who has to be in, in shape. In, 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 in the right place. So we practice a lot of the recycling logistics that is very important for our company. But how do we transporting everything? We transporting everything uh, on, on boats to, to the sea. So the, our containers came to a Cajutla part, to a Cajutla. Then from a, a Cajutla, our drivers take the, all the materials to uh, Plan de la Laguna, where it is uh, located our uh, our production. So from Plan de la Laguna, we have different drivers and sales pe and people who sell the products in our stores. And then we we do the donations to the woman who has cancers. So that is how our company work in our logistic 
and we put uh, our process of production for manufacturing uh, everything. So, uh, for the the most important thing for us is our last point that are set the recycling logistic to uh, reduce uh, the the contamination of our country. Thank you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, about the beneficiaries. I'm sorry. About the beneficiaries for program, uh, 12,000 units of mastectomy bra will be delivered in 4,000 women. Uh, the idea is we um, deliver the, for three periods during the during the year during the this year the two, 2022 uh, the, the period specific periods are May and October and December um, the idea the beneficiary specific uh, women who who had our operation of mastectomia. The, in El Salvador, there is a specific foundation. Um, it has a specific program relate, related to help the women with, um, we are fighting uh, against cancer is the foundation edificando vidas. Uh, the idea is through this foundation, we, we, uh, we will execute, execute the program. Thank you. Okay, I continue with the topic. I'm talking about the problems. The CRS program was approved by Board of Directors in meaning of December 2021. The main executor of this program is our CEO. In addition to donation, the company promotes evaluation for early diagnosis. It's very important for, for his employees and his families. Now continue, Sandra. Oh, Sandra, okay. Yes, thank you. Project was delivered donation of uh, 12,000 units of maxotomy bra during uh, 2020 uh, to do uh, support of program uh, through, through Foundation uh, Edificando, Edificando Vidas in the, in the moon. Mo, uh, May, October, December, and Mother Day, October, Cancer Day, and December. Launch, launch uh, CSR company. The launch of company uh, will take place during the uh, 2021 20, Christmas celebration informing all our employees. Thank you, that's it. Awesome, Yao, yeah, thank you. Um, so you're, is this, this is not just a benefit for your employees, right? This is for whoever needs the bra, right? Yes, they promote uh, evaluation for his employees and his families. Um, yes, that's another activity. Yes, that's another activity. I love that. Yes. that that's good. But but the be, the main benef, beneficiaries of the program are uh, exterior people, not just employees. I mean, 
anybody can use the bra or do you just sell the bra? It's correct, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry, what is correct? So you sell the bra? Yes, we oh. sell the bra. Yes, yes, we sell it, but at the same time we do a, 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 a donation. You do donations. Yes. Donation woman. Of, of the woman, woman who has cancer. Uh, well, actually, the, the, our company do uh, uh, help employees as well. To, mm -hmm. as well, you know, mm -hmm. to prevent uh, a, a future cancer. I got you. I got yeah. you. Okay. So, great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. To the rest of the groups, um, if you can stop sharing and tell me, please. I'm sorry, teacher. I have a problem <laughs> in this moment. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Let me see. How can we do that? Okay. So for the rest of participants, the, the rest of the groups, how could you improve this uh, customer, this corporate social responsibility program? How could you improve it? What would you do? We only have one minute for you to explain. How could you improve this social responsibility program? We are open to receive suggestions. Yeah, this, this is a nice idea actually. Do you have, sorry, but do you have uh, oh my god do you have sponsors do we have sponsors no that's a great idea yeah 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 we need sponsors maybe uh, yeah you need a sponsor to in this case the sponsor is the company itself with the other foundation Edificando vidas. But that, that's your channel. Let's say that's mm -hmm. your dis yes, channel. distribution, your distribution channel to reach here in the country. Exactly. But mm -hmm. maybe adding to Rosalena's point of view, if you get sponsorship, international sponsorship, or you get other organizations out of the country, you will reach a broader um, yeah. It, yes. 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 That, that's a possible. great idea. That is a great yeah. idea. The, I'm sure this is done by many companies out of El Salvador, you know, but if you wanted to go internationally, you, the first step will be to join other organizations, not just for you to 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 do donations, but but you can sell your product, you know, at a lower price and help others out of the country. That's a great idea. Thank you. Okay, next group will be number one, right? Okay. Hold yours. Okay. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone to our group to talk a little about the social responsibility program for a shoes factory. Our shoes factory is called Wawa's Shoes. Its vision is to manufacture fine footwear design innovation. The quality of our product, the use of resources and the best quality for workforce. Always keeping in mind the satisfaction of our customers and the market in general. Valuing the company throughout the integral development of our people in harmony with society and the environment. The warranty continue and profitable growth. Continue, Walter. Okay, continue the topics. 
and hood uh, company. We had a, a social responsibility the program. The social responsibility program is a delivery of footwear to young people and children in rural areas. Uh, and also our company seeks benefits for, for low income people who cannot easily effort as the effort a uh, 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 delivery of shoes. And we compromise to help this and doses and safety of people. And we also seek to help uh, people who do not have a professional and professional career. Uh, provide the, them with a job, a training, then to be a productive in your company and in your life. Uh, continue the, the topics, uh, Wilfredo. I'm okay. Uh, I am going to show you as uh, how our company what was choose. Um, we can make a good relationship with the gov central government to give a good product product to all the students of uh, public school. Then the price are give at cost for the deliver for footwear to public school student and. Um, we are we always think as a as a company as a wawas company um we are commit together with the central government to provide an excellent product to to the student community at a fair price and then this is the first objective as a company to to give Good product to the gov central government, and this way, it is the best option that we saw to get business. Then, to can help to the government to give a good product to all community students. Then, um, continue with the uh, with explain this program. Our classmate Adriana is going to continue explain you. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. Good evening. Uh, I'm talking about the third uh, measure of one shoes a social responsibility program. And in, in our process, we have um, to help uh, environment. The first, we have water use reduction. How? We have a treatment plant and we we give a training and for use water all employees. And the second, a, we have reduction of electric electrical energy, and we have a solar panels, and we use a LED lamp. And the last, a, we use of recycled materials in our process. And uh, for example, a uh, real material synthetic or real material um, of plant, uh, cotton, for example. Uh, this uh, avoid and uh, the use uh, real, mat real material um, provide and animals and only this, only this. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, good. So we're just doing a little recap, uh, a little paraphrasing of what you were saying. So 
you give shoes, you donate shoes for people in poverty and public schools. Okay. Um, and secondly, on your company, your company part of the values are to recycle, to save energy, um, using the most effective ways of lighting your factory, I guess, with LED lights. Um, and there was another point and I forgot it. So, so what do you think guys, how could you, how could your classmates improve their social responsibility program? What would you do? Okay, Carla, I don't know, Kenya, Susana, gonna sell me. Come on, guys, how could you improve this program? There is one thing, there's one thing that I will do, but that's that's me, I don't know. If you paid attention to your classmates, what would you do to improve their social responsibility program? The well was shoes. Okay, when I was a kid, I actually uh, my mother sent some shoes. My mother went to the states when I was seven, and I remember one of the few things she sent me were some some I don't remember if those were Doctor Martin's. Yeah, those were some Doctor Martin's shoes. The soil, the soil of the of the of the the soil of the shoe was not black. It was like brown. It was like gum, you know. And those shoes, those dressing shoes, lasted me until my feet couldn't fit anymore on the shoes. They were really forever shoes, you know. But, but the interesting fact, the sole was still intact. And those were not hard shoes, you know, not, it wasn't really hard. It was just gum, some very strong gum. The, the brand, yeah, it was Dr. Martin's. I, and I Googled them later, you know, and they're very expensive. <laughs> but um, so my opinion will be to maybe look for the best quality product, uh, I mean, the best quality uh, material raw materials or why not why not innovate innovate you know use recycled plastic to create the soul but i don't know with a special formula that will last longer right that's my thought about your your project great job i loved it good job group number three Everybody else, please pay attention to your classmates, show some respect, some respect, show, uh, listening to your classmates and making at least one question, just, or one opinion, I'm sorry, one suggestion as I'm doing. Okay, group number three, all yours. Okay. I share my, my presentation. Oh. Um, well, uh, good evening. Uh, my group is number three. Uh, I am Carla and I is uh, working the in this program, the social responsibility program. The name is uh, the Backpack of Dreams because we have a um, a company that make a backpacks, and the name the company is Meki Meki. It's not saying my my no. Is Mickey Mickey, and <laughs> and the program description is a uh, our social responsibility program is called the Backpack of Dreams. We are a company committed to the development of Salvadorian children, and we want uh, to support to Santa Catalina School uh, in San Jacinto. 
In this occasion, with the support of backpack for each girl, which contains didactic material for their student development. In addition, we will also support the maintenance and repair of the school infrastructure. And uh, we, um, we wish uh, the launch, the program, will be in February the uh, 1993. And uh, the objectives are, uh, number one, support to a student of Santa Catalina School with educational package and promote the motivation of girls not to drop, drop of the teaching that the girls have a motivation to continue learning. And my, and Carla continue. Okay, good evening. Our values, love the gifts of the Santa Catalina School, empathy of the power of our employees towards the girls of the Santa Catalina School, and patience for girls to integrate effectively into the school year. That's it? That's it, Mr. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you will give away you will give away or donate uh backpacks with didactical material for and now is it just for girls? Yes, because the Santa Catalina school is uh exclusive girls. It's just for girls, okay. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Do you only have one place to do this program? They, they, they may be starting, well, it's a backpack company. They mentioned that uh, there was something on slide three. Yeah. No, wait. Uh, yeah, no, slide four. If you can go to slide four or values. Yeah, go ahead, click it. Okay. Click. Click. <laughs> can you no, show can... us? Can you show us? Can you show us slide yeah. four? Yeah. Okay, Wendy. Our values. She said something. Our values. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, there. There. Yes. Yeah. If you can. Okay. There we go. Uh, love empathy for on the part of our. Empathy from our employees towards the girls of the Santa, Nina, Santa Catalina School. Uh, love to the girls of the Santa Catalina School. This sounds to me like when you started, when you started there, for example, let me give you an example. I started fourth, fifth, and sixth grade in Santa Ana in, let's see, Wilfredo, let's see, Wendy. I started in Colegio. Oh my God, what was the name? It's it's of Maria. It's, it's close to Maria Estadio... Consoladora? No, it's close to Estadio Arquiteño. Maria Consoladora del Carpinello. No? No idea? Really, Wendy? Oh, Wilfredo? teacher. Okay, so I started there. It's a, it's it's an orphanage. It's an orphanage, and I started. My my classmates were were there, you know, were interns on this place. And the teachers, mo some of the teachers were moms, eran monjas. That was a, an amazing place. Um, so now that I think about it, if I wanted to create a, a social responsibility program, I will definitely go back. If I had money, I will go back there and help them some way. You see, so you feel nostalgia, you create one of these programs, you help these kids, don't you think? That's what it sounds to me on these values, empathy. But okay, so how, how can we improve it, guys? One comment, teacher. Yes, I mm -hmm. um, Similar with the shoes, mm -hmm. mm, the uh, back, Backpack for the school 
is necessary that the material, uh, the, the quality, the high quality, the material, in the, because um, it's important to the, the time for the use. Um, the, the experience, for example, the program of the Japanese edu education program teacher. In Japanese, uh, the, the uh, children um, have the specific, specific uh, backpack for the school in is durable. Mm. Because the material, eternal. yes, it's eternal. The, the name of the bag is Randosero. Uh, Randosero. The interesting about that is the quality of the, of the backpack. backpack. Interesting. Yeah. Well, in El Salvador, so, they, we have transparent backpacks. It's, it's expensive, teacher, because the cost is between 50 and 150 dollars oh, but mm -hmm. the interesting is the quality of the, the of the material material because it's internal this is the awesome. is the concept for the yeah, culture same of the Japan. That, that's a great idea too alpinas backpacks were eternal so they lasted forever okay it's not chinese it's japanese japanese that's right okay but last the, group the toto teacher the Toto. quality of the Toto is... They're good. They're good too. Good because... Where are you? Um, quality. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay guys. We, we have, we're running out of time. Next group. We're missing five minutes. Deja que pase el tiempo, teacher. No. Let's go. Okay. Good evening. Our working group is composed of uh, Rosalena, Kenya, Nelson, and Gloria. We work on the construction of social uh, projects. Our institution is called uh, with for Hope Foundation. The vision, uh, the Wins for Hope Foundation exists for to provide broad sectors of the population with a life expense, expensancy promoting their human values and social responsibility using donation methodologies and resources. The mission to be recognized as one of the best foundation. So is social assistance to improve the lifestyle of cancer and alopecia patients, allowing them to express their emotion and improve the quality of life. Uh, next, please. Nelson. Nelson, it's your turn. Um, Nelson, it's okay. Yes, you hear? Yes, no? yes, okay, okay. Sorry, this foundation was created as, as a social, a social responsibility to be able to, to help to society focus um, on people who due to cancer are affecting, affected be chemo, chemotherapy uh, training. They have far, far out, which is part of their personality in cell stern uh, in this way to add to accompany them in a way to make you feel better and not discriminator against by society 
for not having hair due to cancer or alopecia. That is, that's it. Next. Okay. The, camp the campaign that will promote the donation of hair to benefit patients with cancer and alopecia. If you are considering getting a haircut this month, taking account that in addition to the new look, you have the possibility to the possibility of contributing to a novel cause and helping a person who is undergoing medical treatment. The Solidarity Foundation Against Cancer and Alopecia will work to collect hair, which will be used to make wigs. This is a campaign that will take place through the month of December, and that will allow people to bring hair and donate it. The collection pound days will be December 1st until December 31st. And the places, uh, the customer service at the branches of Plaza Mundo, Plaza Centro, and Plaza Soya Park. Okay, continue. Hello guys, good evening. My name is Kenya and well, I wanted to let you know, you know, the, the requirements for this program first. Uh, what do we need to do in order to get, you know, this program working from now? So are you interested in helping us? Well, I need to let you know that people who want to lend a helping hand must donate at least 25 or 30 uh, centimeters of hair. It must be clean, dry, and attached to a braid or a ponytail, as you prefer, and packed in a sealed transparent bag. Uh, the donation of dyed hair, you know, with gray hair, straight, curly, or with color treatment will be allowed as well. However, those that are bleached or with fantasy colors are not. So if you have any questions, you know, you can reach us as our main Facebook page or any other social media that you have seen about us, or you can contact us by email www.weeksforhope2022 at hotmail.com. So guys, um, with this campaign, our main goals, you know, we want to raise awareness about breast cancer and the importance of self-examination for early detection of disease, because we know that in El Salvador and in any other parts of the world as well, we're having, you know, different, um, different treatments. For example, we are trying to be focused on uh, people that it's having cancer or alopecia, because remember that you can create a beautiful smile, uh, smiling girls or women that really need it. So um, in addition, supporting patients who are undergoing treatment, uh, you know, they can have a better quality of life and improve their self-esteem. So we really want to do that for all our Salvadorian women and girls. Uh, and all donors will be assisted by a specialized stylist to choose an special coat style and will be given a treatment for the hair. Also, we were thinking about getting some sponsors, you know, like um, like one of the main ones that we have, like Sedal, you know, things like that for some shampoos or any kind of special treatments that we can provide. Um, for people who wants to, you know, donate hair, we can provide something of this and, you know, people will try to help us as well. So Rosalena Salgado is our president of the foundation and for her part pointed out that all the support that people provide will be more than welcome. So guys, we really appreciate your help. And since for many women wearing a wig helps them a lot in their self image and psychologically during this process. So please help us guys, we really need it. Thank you. And that's all. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, where, where can I donate? <laughs> That's really good. Thank you, guys. That was amazing. Congratulations to all of you. You made it through Advanced 2. Next one is Advanced 3, and I'll see you or someone else, I don't know, in January. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. You can text me if you want, save my number. If you need a friend to talk to, don't worry, I'm here for you as well. 
If you need any advice with English, text me. I'll be open for any feedback as well, you know, and I'll, I'll always be there. Thank you for being such great students. I'll just do the attendance. It's over 10 already. And I'm staying with Anasami just for a few minutes, okay? Enjoy the night. Good night. Good night. Patricia Linares <laughs> Galdames. Present, Patricia. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present, good night. Good night, Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present, good night. Good night, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Ok, chicos, bien. Cuídense mucho. Feliz Navidad y próspero año nuevo a todos. Thanks for all, teacher. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for all, teacher. Gracias, gracias. Una pregunta. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Feliz okay. Navidad. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Gracias. I won't see you. The picture. What happened with the picture? Oh, nobody hey. took the picture. Ya, nobody. Ya. Susana, what happened? La tomó, ya la tomó. Sí, la sí. Ya se las tomé. Sí. Vamos oh. a ver ahorita. Oh. No. Oh. What oh. happened? Oh. Yeah, oh. My mouth is popping out. Me, me avisan. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Ahorita. ahorita. No. I'm ugly. Oh, no. Wait. Like that. Okay, espere, espere. <laughs> Dos, tres. Ahí vamos. Ya, listo. Se las mando. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good Thank night, guys. Thank you. Enjoy this season. Yes. See you next year. Good night. Take care. Happy New Year. No, Happy necesito year. otra foto. Me salió mal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cuando venga a ver solo tres, van a ver. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Hoy sí. Ah, hoy sí. Uno, okay. dos, tres, ya. Ahí está. Hoy sí. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. You guys. Good night. Okay. Ahorita ya me salgo. Ahorita, ahorita. Bye, Susie. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, Susie. Okay, Thank well, teacher. we're only missing like three or five minutes, so Talk yes. to me. <laughs> How were you? How did you feel the classes? How do you feel about going on vacations? Um, I feel I prefer to continue the class teacher because uh, for me it's very important the continuity. The continuation. But the continuation, yeah. Hmm. Uh, but it's necessary more voluntary because I need to more practice, more practice, uh, mainly my pronunciation, because I feel um, not secure. Uh, I feel not confident. Not confident, yes. Not confident, but I need more practice. I need more that's practice. All, that's all practice will give you confidence. And something that you could do right now during these days is is what I told you, right? Mimic a conversation mm -hmm. from from Rong Chang uh, conversations that I send you. Just mimic one of these conversations, make it sound exactly the way it sounds, and mm -hmm. you will sound natural. That's all. Yes, yes. Practice, practice, more practice every the, day. The every point day. is that you need you need a you need to be criticized by yourself. So when you criticize yourself, you go like, man, I did it good. I sound nice, mm -hmm. right? 
I said that right. Oh, okay. Wow. So that that's a good part of criticizing yeah. yourself. I need to overcome mm -hmm. um, the specific, uh, specific areas. areas. Uh, For example, today, today a lot of areas, teacher, a lot um, of areas, but but in in my plan. I need to cover the specific, for example, for me, it's very important to overcome the, the phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, uh-huh. Phrasal verbs, for me, is, is, I mean, is my personal goal. Yeah, because in reality, you don't, I don't use phrasal verbs. I rattly, rattly <laughs> use true. phrasal verbs. No, I don't use phrasal verbs. In my I, mind, the American use more phrasal no. Not all of them. I mean, the, remember that the whole point is to communicate effectively. Stop saying, yeah. stop saying things like children's. It's children, right? Children is the plural already. So mm -hmm. why is it important? Because for an American, if you say children's, it's like saying niñoños, right? Like repeating the plural. And go like, okay, okay. I'm ruining, right? Se está pudriendo. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm running, right. running. Today you said something. You say throw, 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 throw. Uh, through. A, tra a través, a través, yeah. decía, uh -huh. through. 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 Exactly, mm -hmm. throughout. And if, you, if it's throughout, a través, oh, yeah. through. yeah, throughout, throughout. And so oh, on. Wow. Pero, pronunciation, that's all. Y eso lo va a lograr en la medida en la que practique y se se logre criticar a sí mismo. Tener un parámetro es muy importante. O sea, muchos ven la conveniencia de tener un teacher, pero en realidad el teacher cumple con el 20% de la misión. No, pero le, le agradezco mucho todas las correcciones, teacher, de veras. O sea, en lo personal me hacen como más consciente de, de, de lo ¿Dónde? que tengo y, y cuando lo repito digo mm, no, it's not right estoy, estoy repasar, repasar. that's good, get a friend get an American friend hagas amiga de alguien americano right? right. Eso, eso sería super chivo ok Ana Salmi, thank you very much for staying these few minutes no, thank you for hope you teacher. have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year you too teacher take care you too Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye.